December 2023. Banyan Tree. Teaching Story. The Last Laugh. In China, there were three men known as the Three Laughing Monks. They did only one thing, they would enter a village, stand in the marketplace, and start laughing. And then a crowd would gather, and just looking at them, the whole crowd would start laughing. Then the three monks would move to another village. They became famous all over the country as the Three Laughing Monks. The whole of China loved them and respected them. Nobody had preached that way, that life must be just laughter and nothing else. Then they became old, and one of the three monks died. The whole village was filled with the expectation that now, since one of them had died, the remaining two would weep. This would be something worth seeing. But they found that the two monks were standing by the side of the corpse of the third and laughing a belly laugh. Bewildered, the villagers said, at least explain this. For the first time, they spoke and said, We are laughing because this man has won. We were always wondering who would die first, and this man has defeated us. We are laughing at our defeat and his victory. He lived with us for many years and we laughed together and enjoyed each other's togetherness, each other's presence. There can be no other way of giving him the last send-off, we can only laugh. The whole village was sad, but when the dead monk's body was put on the funeral pyre, The villagers realized that not only were these two laughing but the third, who was dead, was also laughing because he had told his companions, don't change my dress. So, out of respect, they, had not changed his clothes. And when the body was put on fire, suddenly, they became aware that the dead monk had hidden crackers under his clothes and they had set off a Chinese firework display. So the whole village laughed, and the two monks said, you rascal. You have died but again you have defeated us. You had the last laugh. Vedanta, Seven Steps to Samadhi, Osho. This I know. Abdul Kalam Azad. Look at the sky. We are not alone. The whole universe is friendly to us and conspires only to give the best to those who dream and work. If you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun, to succeed in your mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. If four things are followed, having a great aim, acquiring knowledge, hard work, and perseverance, then anything can be achieved. Climbing to the top demands strength, whether it is to the top of Mount Everest or the top of your career, don't take a rest after your first victory because if you fail in the second, more lips are waiting to say that your first victory was just luck. To become unique, the challenge is to fight the hardest battle which anyone can imagine until you reach your destination. Never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place, the unique you. Have an aim in life, continuously acquire knowledge, work hard, and have perseverance to realize the great life. Inspiration The nature of the Absolute The Absolute Awareness permeates every cell, atom, and being of the universe. The Absolute is thus aware of the entire creation in the way that we are aware of our own bodies. There is intelligent awareness of every point and of every entity. The unfathomable awareness of the Lord goes even beyond infinity and eternity, which are endless in themselves. The Lord is also aware of its awesome knowledge, intelligence, bliss, and power in the way that we are aware of our bodies and beyond. However, this awareness is unparalleled, the Absolute is aware of everything, yet, as it is thought-free, it remains ego-free and one-pointedly centered on nothingness and on silence supremely absorbed in itself, unencumbered in spite of its awareness and its supreme knowledge. Teachings of the Inner Light by Deepakotikal One minute wisdom change must come from within. The Master said, It is, alas, easier to travel than to stop. The disciples demanded to know why. Because as long as you travel to a goal, you can hold on to a dream. When you stop, you face reality. How shall we ever change if we have no goals or dreams? Ask the mystified disciples. Change that is real is change that is not willed. Face reality and unwilled change will happen. Anthony de Mello. Quote. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone J.K. Rowling. Just for laughs. The night sky. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were going camping. They pitched their tent under the stars and went to sleep. Sometime in the middle of the night, Holmes woke Watson up and said, Watson, look up at the sky and tell me what you see. 
Watson replied, I see millions and millions of stars. Holmes asked, and what do you deduce from that? Watson replied, well, if there are millions of stars, and if even a few of those have planets, it's quite likely there are some planets like Earth out there. And if there are a few planets like Earth out there, there might also be life. Holmes said, Watson, you idiot, it means that somebody stole our tent.